welcome back, everyone. Let's get right back to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hopefully, who's gonna try to kill themselves this time? <laughs> Kaido, Maki, Himiko. Please let it be Kaido. The Himiko going to a fucking fish tank again. <laughs> oh, hey, Kibo. Oh, let's get around here some more. Oh. Do we need to look at all the exosols? It's not the washing machine. I've already been there. Maybe. Maybe it's because these two are up. They aren't moving. Uh. Yeah. Nope. Okay. They're. Or do I have to fucking... It's painting machine. Oh, there's a painting machine. This huge this huge machine has several moving arms. What is this used for? This is... That machine is probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. All uh, right. It does kind of smell like paint thinner. Um... And I huff that shit a lot. <laughs> Which means I could potentially use this machine to give myself a makeover. Oh, I was considering that. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Then why bring it up? What are you planning? <laughs> I've investigated everything here. This is definitely a hangar for the Exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right, but this place no longer has any purpose. Wink, wink. <sighs> Keeble's killing or being killed. You think so? I'm, I'm, Defin I'm definitely seeming like it. <laughs> I'm leaning toward... Before this, I was leaning towards him just getting killed, but because of this whole room, like, he's gonna fucking murder someone. Mm -hmm. He's getting too triggered now. Something's yeah. bound to happen. Okay, oh, so we- oh, we finally got rid of the, uh, one key. Yeah. The other key was just, like, it could be used in multiple places. Shuichi. Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move but forward. My inner voice- Yeah, Oops. yeah, I already saw it. Yeah, move forward? Well- Well, yeah, we used the one key twice, and so now that key is gone. No, 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 we only used that key once. Wait, which one did you use on the, uh, one outside here? The blue one. Yeah. I used this here, and the key that I still have, I used for the- um, oh, I thought you used the blue one on Kaito's lab yeah. as well. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to smoke you just so I don't miss an event by chance. But we've only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? Why is that? Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? Um, how many of our friends have died? Yeah. Divide that by two. But, like, subtract one first yeah, because what do you of... mean? The class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. You know, that same flow over and over. And the facts that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. Yeah, my favorite one was in the virtual reality where we didn't go up to the cap off fucking all. <laughs> I sort of thought maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But... But it's all the mystery of this academy. We're gonna have to use the flashback light to remember the truth. Um... Of course, I know we need to do that, too. Alright, I'm just gonna stop worrying about it. It's worked so well thus far. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else, and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um... Alright, then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. You... do that. Oh, well, yep, yeah, there she goes. So, Steve, do you want to go to light bulb mixing? <laughs> Dance? <laughs> light bulb mixing? Dan dancer dude? The, it's keto. The dancing studio, um, the electrical power plant, or, uh... I'm, 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 I'm just gonna fucking move. I want, I want to get to a fair amount of progress. Assuming it's on the top of my little jack of every floor. There it yeah, is. there it is. Alright, so, we still have not seen Kokichi's or Rantaro's research lab. Hello hey. there. How would anyone miss this one? Huh. Come on. <laughs> it wouldn't fucking let me. Alright, cool. So wait, they're all alive again. <laughs> um, so that's uh. It's for this door. I'm yeah, guessing. I was gonna say like that's Shuichi's <laughs> extravagant door. Click click. click. Hmm. The key works, but it won't turn. Tick 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 tick. tick. Could it be ticking? Oh god. <laughs> Sensei danger! I hurriedly backed away from the door, and then <sighs> I probably still could have killed him. It exploded. Is this Rantaro's lab? A trap? That was ain't. I mean, it looks like it'd be his. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. I could have been a body. No one would have known. Jesus, what's going on here? It looks like... Okay. It looks like buildings falling over. Yeah. Well, I'm, lo I'm looking at the mini-map. It looked like... Uh... Machete and... Is that a hammer and sickle? <laughs> I was Rantaro's that. the ultimate communist, dude. From the, <laughs> from the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left... Who don't have a lab yet? All right. I should check inside. It's an interesting pause. 
when I turn the knob, click, click. Fuck, I need another key. God damn. Oh. It won't open. They're really drawing out this mystery, huh? Oh, that research lab is closed because the owner is dead. Huh? God damn it. The owner is dead? Hey, um... Per the rules, if a student dies before their research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. That's that's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's because it's the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, this lab uh, belongs to someone who died. Man. Is this Rantaro's lab? Aww. How disappointing. You know what his talent was if you went in his lab. Yeah, I was kind of hoping. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. <laughs> huh? What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Oh, ooh. harsh. Our Charles lab. I am curious about his talent, but was he the ultimate emo? No, oh, jeez. It's too late now. The ultimate My Chemical Romance fan. It's you, Kiba. Ah, oh, there you are, Shuichi. <laughs> um, can you come to the dining hall? Smoogie wants us all to meet at that. Huh? Smoogie? Yes. She said she found something. I assume she's found a flashback light. At any rate, please hurry. I shall go on ahead. She wants us to fucking cosplay tonight. <laughs> so we finally found it. The next flashback light. What will we remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. Alright, thanks, Rantaro, for being a dick again. For dying. Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> Why couldn't you just, like, not? I know. How hard was that? You just had to dog out the way with the shot football. Yeah. You could have easily heard it if you were listening hard enough. What idiot killed you again? Us? Oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm still a little sad about that one. Yeah, it was a really good case though. Yeah. Right? Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Ah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you found the fa flashback light. Dang it. Let's let's uh, let's use it already. <laughs> oh god. Oh, sorry. It's not the flashback light. I found a body. Huh? It's not. I honestly thought that's what it's, all this was about. What's that mean? And why did you call us all here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. I found something. Something pretty serious. Uh, I thought I should tell everyone right away. She found the stone. Yeah, it's a stone with some weird letters on it. <laughs> pretty serious. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about your bathroom break, Yumiko. No. Um, so what did you find? It's from that one Those letters going to found in the courtyard? There's more added to them again. Huh? The letters in the courtyard? Yeah. It looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. Oh, dude, what if the message isn't complete? And yeah, it's, I, that, that's my thought. And it says... This wor world is mine. This world is mine. Kokichi Uma. Look at the M in mine. Yeah, there, it looks like there's still some stuff that's missing out of it. This, like, this world is not mine. This world is in... I don't know. This world is... Uh, it, it's not where it's going to be too hard. Probably, yeah. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine? What's that mean? What's going on? Why is Kokiki's name... <sighs> so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokiki. Huh? A prank? He kept adding to that message just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. I see. It definitely seems like something Kokiki would do. That is true, but is that all there is to it? I'm a horsey. <laughs> this world. Yeah, I don't know. When Gonta had first found the Ryan, all it said was Horsa. <laughs> I, I just watched this one again, and I remember what I said about it. Two whores in my bed. <laughs> Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, I read... This world is mine, Kokiki Oma. Can we really just uh, ascribe it to Kokiki, Kokiki's pranks? Shuichi, no. we're like five steps ahead of you, man. Well, who cares about Kokiki? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. 
It seems no one has found it yet. So that means Kokiki found it. <laughs> Maybe that's Kokiki's <laughs> fault, too. He probably found it first and hated it. Good job, Steve. You're on Himiko's wavelength. That is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. Ah. No, there's no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore him. So let's just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you are the angriest out of all of us. Ah. No, there was something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean, it's a little too early to tell you guys, but what? <laughs> leave it to me. Oh, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. That's not a death flag. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Rantaro at all. <laughs> I'll figure it all out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? Hey guys. I mean, I'm gonna go get you guys out of here. Kaito is going to get us out of here. There's the reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. You guys just don't get it. Jeez, heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Hero whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, leave it to me. Perhaps Kaito's confidence is baseless. But it's a relief to have someone so confident in a time like this. A hero. We might really be... Really he. Be, he really might be one. My bad. <laughs> we weren't able to find a flashback light, so we were all left, left to die off and return to our rooms. It's probably going to be free time, and I can't hang out with Kokiki. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to hang out with him. He's my new bestest buddy. Except, you know, we need to... There's still some time left today. Hmm. So, what should I do? Uh, I'm gonna just straight up finish up Himiko because... We fucking need to complete someone. Every uh, every one of our friends just keeps fucking dying. The fuck is Himiko? Oh, fuck, she's dead. <laughs> you had to be in the fucking farthest place possible. <laughs> right outside my <laughs> research lab. Uh, hey, you wanna get to the best friends? Why is it always creepy just seeing someone stare at you in a fucking cathedral? Oh, there's only seven of us. No wonder the dining hall feels so big now. Should I hang out with Himiko for a while? Yes. Uh. I'm going to a mew. They were both loud people. Now it's too quiet here. It makes me think too much. The voices won't stop. <laughs> they're telling me to kill Rantaro. I don't know why they're singling him out. <laughs> I spent some quiet time with Himiko. I'm pretty sure I know hers. Uh, Himiko and I grew a little closer today. We like to give her a present? Definitely. I, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of those chairs that she likes. Tell me the number. Uh, where is it? 72. Yes. Yeah, 72. I have two of them. I'm giving them both to work. Here, have some more chairs. <laughs> you must have used a, used a fine Himiko good gift spell. <laughs> well done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. Sorry. Shuiki, I'm sorry I treated you like that. Huh? Where's this apology coming from? I... Before, I thought it was a pain to tell you about magic, but... Okay. But now it's different. I've changed. I decided to live looking forward. Why is everyone saying that? So, I'm going to tell you about magic without saying it's a pain. Hmm. I, I see. What is this? She's different than usual. Hey, Shuichi. Isn't that why you came here? To continue where we left off? Uh, okay. Right, of course. I'd like to hear it. If that's okay. Perhaps there's no real point to this story at all. Yeah. I'm pleased to see you show so much interest in me. Yes. Himiko looked happy, <laughs> but her expression quickly faded. But... I couldn't stop my master from retiring. The person after his towel got just what he wanted. Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. One time, my master was about to start one of his shows. Way in the back of the audience, my master's enemy was working a scheme. Do you know about the mortal enemy of mages in this world? Uh, um, mortal enemy? Okay. They have the power to take away magic. An anti-mage. This is starting to sound like a manga. Why you? His anti-mage took away my master's magic and made him fail. Huh? What? Why you? My master was set up. There's no way he would have failed otherwise. My golden age master wouldn't lose you an anti-mage. But... but the audience turned against my master, so I tried to wake them up. On behalf of my master, I destroyed the anti-mage. <laughs> so, Himiko tried to fix her master's mistakes, but that means... With my magic. My master wouldn't lose against someone I could defeat. Yes, I told them off. The show ended without any more problems, but... When I went back to the green room, my master was gone. I haven't seen him since then. Just as I thought. 
He was probably embarrassed to have Himiko fix his mistakes. That's Himiko, none of that is your fault. Stop it. I know. I don't need your pity. Bitch. Sorry. No. There's no need to apologize. I know what my master must have been thinking. It'll be he probably okay. disappeared from my sake. He probably didn't want to get me involved in the mage power struggle. 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 That's right. That must have been it. Hmm. Himiko. Yay. So wait, we're almost besties. Himiko, don't leave. We need to fit. Okay. I couldn't find the word to say. I watched Himiko walk away. Her head hung low, and I re returned to my room. Okay. We were done pretty early with the investigation, so we probably might have another one today. Probably might. <laughs> probably might. There's still some time. What could I do? Himiko! <laughs> Let's make you even more depressed today. You can't hide from me. Oh god, where is she? Shit. Let's hang out with Gonta. Is Maybe. she all the way fucking back here? Did she just stay in the cathedral? Nope. Okay. Can we not hang out with her again? Can we not hang out with the same person? I, I'm i pretty sure we could. Okay, hold on. Let me get again. She's not there. there oh, she she's is. in the dining hall. Okay. okay. She blends in. Yeah. I think it's because of the hat. Here we go. I think it's because I want to eat her, so <laughs> she blended in with a fork and knife. Alright, so we'll do her and a bit of Kibo. Because okay. there's one thing that's really upsetting me. Do you know what it is? Could I hang out with Himiko for a while? Yeah. I gotta give her another chair. Why is my lab on the first floor? Height is power, you know. My lab is the one that should be on the top floor. You're too fucking lazy. <laughs> yeah, you would never do that. <laughs> she got to the fifth floor on her own somehow today. Yeah, impressive. Yumiko spoke passionately to me about magic. Should I give Yumiko another chair? <laughs> Yumiko and I grew a little closer today. Yumiko, where are you putting all these chairs? <laughs> this is like the fourth, third or fourth one I've given you. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy this Wally reference. Oh. Yes. This will do. Now my MP can recover. <laughs> well, it's still not enough to power a big spell. Is that all right? Here we go. There's something I have to tell you. No matter what happens, what? don't tell me you fell for me. I mean, yeah, I did. Wait. No, it's not that. It's something about your master. Okay. My master. Okay. Yes, I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master is trying in secret so that he can perform with you again. Himiko's face didn't change. She must be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. Hmm. You might be right. I'm sure of it. That's true. Hmm? How can you be so sure? There's that reckless hmm. confidence. Do detectives have magic to read people's souls? Maybe goes expression brightened just a little bit. <laughs> I wonder. Don't worry. I'll refrain from using that magic. You're right. You're me. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it either. I can't even find my master using my magic. That's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like you said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training in secret. I thought of that too. Okay. That's why you're focused on improving your magic? Mm -hmm. That's Your master is following up his magic too, Himiko. To reform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. Magic tricks are what connect you to your master. She's gonna get annoyed I called it magic tricks. That must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Right? Am I wrong? No. You're wrong. Huh? It's magic. It's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Ah, oh. oh, sorry. You're right. Real magic. Look how devastated Shuichi looks yeah. right now. Yeah, that's right. Jeez. When will you get it? Then... Well, anyway, we had to get out of here soon so you can perform together. Mm, you're you... right. I'm going to be more positive and work harder. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Like, financially? Okay. All right, Himiko. Thank you. Himiko and I are both focused on the same goal. Getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. I, if I put my trust in this bond, I know we can overcome anything. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Himiko has been fully maxed out. I've learned a new skill. Abracadabra. Bond. It makes it, bond. It makes it so I can lie in every single instance <laughs> and win the case. H Himiko and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. Yep, okay, I got her underwear. Alright, that's, uh... You're under arrest, Steve. It's fine, she's 16. 
in Japan. <laughs> in Japanese years, so she's like 500 everywhere else. Something like that. Maybe I won't get to hang out with literally anyone else. Oh, dude, you called it. All right, let's see I what mean, the like, uh, let's see what we the... just get murdered. Ahem. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. The time is now 10 p.m. Night to killers. This is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? My or sleep with the fishes. Either way, sweet dreams. I miss the rom com. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime. Correct. I would have been training. Fuck. Huh? Me? Wow. I'm just some Ireland by Monokuma plushie collection. Got a minute? Do you have a minute? Hmm. Maki, what's wrong? Well... Kaito asked me earlier to show him my research lab. Huh? Your lab? <sighs> I might as well show him, since I know he won't take no for an answer. So you have to come, too. Just to make sure Kaito doesn't murder me. <laughs> she wants me to go? Maki invited me, so I should go. Do, do. Did she just leave the app? Yes, yeah, she just immediately teleported to a research lab. They all have that ability too, Steve. Oh, yeah. That's it. The killer fast traveled between the two locations. Wait a second, there are people outside. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweet, what are you looking up at the sky for? Uh, Shuichi, I'm over here. You're talking to the wall. Sorry, you look the same. I was just looking at the stars a little. I remembered something Gonta said before. It's been a whole day. You're still on this? <laughs> what did Gonza say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember <laughs> to cure me trial? <laughs> Not a human can say. What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Uh, <laughs> it's just even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But stars here different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Actually, I was just thinking, the stars are really pretty. I can't tell the difference since I don't usually look at them, but they're pretty. That reminds me. I'd forgotten this feeling. With all the horrible things happening, I was always looking down. You're right. I need to thank Gonta. Where's his body? Yeah, I was gonna say shit, Smoogie. You're uh. <laughs> we haven't found the morgue yet. You're right. <laughs> Hey, do you want to join me, Shuichi? Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. There's something I had to take care of. I see. I see. Well, I'm going to stay here a little while longer. Famous last words. It's not like we'll never see each other again or anything. Kibo? <laughs> Shuichi! Shuichi, that is the wall. I am over here. <laughs> what are you doing out and about at this hour? Okay. I promise to meet up with Maki. I see. I see. Well... Don't kill each other. Well, I have no intention of strictly upholding a curfew. We tried that once. It didn't work out too well. Perhaps it's an old habit from my time on the student console, but I feel like I had to ask. That was only a few days ago. Wow, really? It's been a few weeks for us. Yeah, I mean, it, it hasn't even been more than a week. It feels like we formed the student council with Angie ages ago. So many more people have died. Like, five. A lot of things have happened since then. We haven't had a moment to relax. Um... At any rate, please be careful. We haven't had a moment to relax, except for, you know, today. Yeah. I hung out with, like, Emiko a lot. <laughs> being out during nighttime could result in another murder. Just like being out during daytime. Or, you know, dying. Especially now when we don't know Kokichi's whereabouts. You're right. I'll be careful. Just back away from him before he plans something. It's not good. It's I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of remember it. Okay, let's go see Kaito and Maki and hopefully get a murder in like 20 minutes. Hell yeah. I doubt it, but still. You could be helpful. Oh. Sorry I'm late. I had to go talk with Smoogie about remembering some dumb shit Gonta said. Huh? Okay. Oh, oh, so you came too. Uh, okay. Yeah. Silence. As if utterly bored by the painful silence, Maki started 
of a conversation. What are you trying to pull? Why did you ask to see my research lab so silently, Kaito? Ah. Well, I just want to see what kind of weapons were here. What? Why would you want to see my weapon? You know... But, wow, there's a ton of stuff here. Can you use all these Makiro? I see. Yes, more or less. So... Well, there's no swords of any kind here. Japanese or Western, right? That's true. I don't use swords of any type. Not after I boxed the mission with a katana. Hmm. That dude is so cut up. <laughs> I see. Either way, I don't feel like weapons really suit women. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Care to explain why you wanted to see my weapons? Ah. Didn't I tell you this mo morning? I've got a plan figured out. I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> oh, what's in the black case over there? As a backing away from the conversation, Kaito headed to the far bookcase. So... What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? Are we playing Fortnite? Are these medkits? If you want to know, why don't you open it? Let's see. And then Kaito pulled something from Black Case. Hmm? What's this? It's a bunch of parts. I see. It's a dismantled crossbow. Mm. So when you put them together, they become a crossbow. <laughs> Looks interesting. I was thinking it was a shotgun. Hey, Makiro, can you teach me how to pull it together? Sure, whatever. I don't mind. Put this and this together. Um, like this? And then put that other part in the opposite way. <sighs> Wait, that's wrong. I love how they're trying to make this look cute. Like, oh, look at them trying to assemble a murder weapon together. <laughs> oh, my bad. It goes this way. I'm, uh... Mm hmm then next, it's... While watching those two, the memory of a similar scene came to my mind. <laughs> when Kaede helped me put a crossbow together. <laughs> <laughs> when she helped me put a piano together with <laughs> cute bows and crosses. <laughs> Kaito struggling while Maki gave him instructions. Eventually, they succeed in putting together the crossbow. Well, at least they got their romantic relationship still going. But if Kaido dies, I'm totally taking Maki. <laughs> well, since I built it, it became an extra cool crossbow. Maki Roll's really gonna like my collection of Himiko's underwear. <laughs> it does matter who builds it, though. That's right. It seems like it seems like it's a bit complicated, but I think I can do it by myself next time. Hey. Kiki, do you want to learn too? No. Uh, no, that's all right. I start on a stand from walking anyway. Hmm. And let's put it away. You can easily take it apart by reversing the steps. Are you serious? Wait, do I have to do it? That's right. <laughs> Who else is gonna do it? My bad. It, yeah, sorry. I don't feel too good again. What? Huh? <sighs> it seems like I'm not 100%, so I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Ignoring Maki, trying to stop him, Kaito fled the room. I knew it was not time to clean up, but I never thought he'd run away with a crappy lie. How annoying. How frustrating. He's the worst soul. Well. Oh, well, that's just Kaito. <laughs> the worst soul. You're the worst soul, too. <laughs> huh? Huh? Well. I'm sure you know why I invite you, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I do. You were trying to get Kaito and I to make up. You don't know? It's not like he hates you or anything. He's just being stubborn. But. I just don't know what to say to him. I, I had no choice. Gonta, if I hadn't, if I didn't do something, everyone would have died. I, I don't think it'd be right to apologize for that. Hey. I'm sorry, Maki. I just need more time. <sighs> I didn't realize you two require such high maintenance. Sorry. <laughs> but now that she mentions it, I didn't realize it either. I didn't realize Maki would be so concerned about us. Thank you. Maki. In the end, I was the one who ended up disassembling the crossbow. <laughs> and I finished, I returned to my room. I took half the parts so Kaito would have to talk to me to uh, get the <laughs> other half. <laughs> there was like three cases probably full of it. Just like always, we're surrounded by problems. This academy is full of mysteries, and I'm worried about Kokiki. And then there's the thing with me and Kaito. All right. I need to make up with him, for us and for Maki. I fell asleep thinking about it. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. <laughs> Damn it. Why? Why now? Why me? Damn it. I'm running out of time. I can't die like this. 
Like hell am I gonna die here? I, I still haven't gone to, to space in a minute. <laughs> Recklessness is a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful, I want to print the words Reckless Beauty on a t-shirt. Because recklessness is the stuff that dreams are made of. It's what makes you run at full speed with no regard for your limitations. It's what makes you feel excited by anything. Some say it's foolish, but recklessness is what causes new events to unfold. So while you're still alive, live your life so recklessly that it makes you immortal. And if haters laugh at you, let them. They just don't appreciate reckless beauty like you do. Okay. Yeah, uh, and with that, everyone, ignore the ding dong. That just means that it's the end of the episode. Yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, we've ended every single episode so far with ding dongs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. Uh.